Uh, before getting into my paper, I would like to thank the organizers for giving me the chance to take part in this cool session on rock and ritual. Ah, okay. As osmotic membranes where the supernatural could be encountered, but also a, as powerful liminal thresholds of transition and transformation, caves were used as ritual escapes by the protohistoric and Roman population of Hispania Celtica from the 4th century BC to the 3rd century AD. Archaeological, textual, and iconographical record of a diversity of ritual activities are found in caves of Celtic Roman Spain. But despite its potential, these dark cult places and its rituality remain to be under study due to a bias in previous scholarship. For instance, prehistorians usually do not bother about remains of late Iron Age and Roman times. Classical epigraphies usually have focus on the text rather than on the context, so with no concern for the ritual landscape or for the religious experiences and emotions of the individuals who wrote the inscriptions. And regarding ancient historians, they usually do not walk into the muddy topographies of darkness. However, a multiplicity of ritual activities are way to be studied. On the basis of my fieldwork in progress, here I would like to explore and discuss some issues of the Celtic Roman cave rituality in Spain. A main theme is the centrality of darkness in the ceremonies held it inside the earth. Since most of the artifacts and texts were intentionally placed in the darkest areas, farthest from entrances and daylight. An useful theoretical framework within to play these, ri these rituals is that put forward by Moyes, Sacred Darkness, and by Down and Hensi in the Archaeology of Darkness, where they explore how darkness itself must be understood as an integral part of underground religion and not an incidental one. <coughs> What? <laughs> what shall I do? <laughs> okay. I think somebody open a door. Yes. Someone open the emergency door. Ah, okay. 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 <laughs> The, phenomenon, the, sorry, the phenomenological and emotional insights from Tilly, Lewis Williams, Bradley, or Charles works can be useful as, useful as well to understand the significant role placed by darkness in removing the explorers from the everyday world on the surface and in shaping their emotions and ritual experiences. Moreover, we know that in Roman antiquity, darkness and underground places work both in terms of sensory emotional experience and in terms of symbolism, with complex metaphoric meanings such as death, drilling of evil powers, other wall, fertility, shelter, etc. But in the past, the caves also were thought and lived as liminal thresholds to be crossed to enter in a different, extraordinary escape. Actually, Walking into and through the dark cave has effects on senses and emotions. Disorientation, lack of time, of time reference, isolation, sensory deprivation. In the vacuum of darkness, self-experience is intensified, promoting then religious sensitiveness. In this um, rock smotic membranes where the supernatural could be felt and faced. In fact, Groenen has spoken of the fearsome presence of unseen powers lurking in the dark of the caves, who can appear, blur, and disappear in a reality continually in flux. Since the light sources available to Celtic Roman explorers, mainly torches, 
were constantly moving and creating dynamic interplays of light, shadows, and darkness. Therefore, darkness itself is the landscape context of the ritual and is per se an integral part of the religious activity that took place in um, Spanish caves. In fact, although these caves vary in shape and size, and in the nature of the rituals carried out there, there is a consistent ritual use of the darkest chambers of the caves. This location implies that the participant took a difficult journey into the dark to encounter the supernatural powers. But apart from the centrality of darkness, the Spanish caves saw a multiplicity of rituals in late Iron Age and Roman times. Not being possible to go into further detail of every cave of Spain where Celtic Roman rituality is recorded, I want to discuss at least several of the ritual practices attested there. Celtiberian and Latin inscriptions were carved in the walls and floors of the caves by people moving through them from the 1st century BC to the 3rd century AD, who used them to remark and memorialize their individual and collective identities. For instance, the majority of the Latin texts from the cave of La Griega are not theonyms of ritual formulae, but personal names. Some of them were carved in different zones of the caves, but it's difficult to know if they were made by the same person in a single journey, or in several trips, or by individuals with the same name at different times. They are located, due to they are located in cool places, we assume that all these texts had a religious meaning, but some of them could be rather the testimony of adventurous people from local communities exploring the cave, who wrote their names as a record of their bravery, as documented by medieval and modern graffiti in the same caves. In any case, Celtiberian and Latin religious inscriptions were certainly produced in caves of Hispania as part of ritual processes, and they become themselves part of the reality of the sanctuary and its visual dynamics. Regarding the deities related to these caves, we know that several vernacular gods were worshipped at La Griega. Nemedus Augustus Ayuncus, the watery goddess Deva, Monius, and perhaps also the god Doioerus. Some graffiti are traditional religious Latin formulae, such as Cantienus Votum Solvit. Others attest ritual practices carried out by male couples probably delegates from local communities or even ritual specialists. That rituality by couples is attested as well in other caves of Hispania, such as Cueva Negra de Fortuna in Murcia, Sala del Jurats, as Mario has explained early, and the cave of Roman in Clunia. However, we don't know we don't know the precise nature of the rituals carried out underground by these male couples. Celtic Roman religious recycling <coughs> of prehistoric rock art is attested in Spanish caves. For instance, in the cave of San Garcia, where a Celtiberian text was carved close to bronze eight carvings, and at La Griega where the Latin writers incorporated the Paleolithic horses into the ritual activity and mythical discourse, perhaps identifying the figures as signs from the gods or using them as symbolic animal sacrifice, amongst other possibilities. This ritual recycling is also documented at other rock places in España, the rock shelter of Roca de los Moros, Quegul, where Iberian and Latin texts were located near Neolithic paintings. Regarding underground uh, rites, rites of passage, a scholarly tradition has associated with them the caves. The sensory and emotional experiences of individuals moving through the dark will have served to instill a feeling of changed personhood, of personal transformation. Indeed, the participants could have experienced themselves death and renewal 
entering to the cave was experienced as going into the other world to re-emerge from there as a new person, reborn from the earth's uterus. But as attested by a Latin text from Cueva del Puente, here, <coughs> where its author declares himself as Timens, fearful, um, the emotion of fear could have been intentionally provoked by ritual specialists as this ca in these caves as part of rituals of terror using Harvey Whitehouse's expression, which is related with the imagistic model of religiosity. So, um, before. According to that, several scholars have related the 3rd century AD Latin inscriptions carved <coughs> on the walls of Cueva del Puente to rituals to grain bravery performed by young teenagers following pre Roman traditions. However, these texts rather seem to document a cave exploration by a military group from close barracks. A male skeleton laying on the floor of the gallery of Via Seca in Ojo Guareña has been identified as a 4th century BC young man who got lost in his journey through the darkness. Nevertheless, there are no clues about his reasons to go into the cave. Was he just an explorer? Was he performing a ritual activity that perhaps included the collection of water from a closed dam? Did he die in situ or was he intentionally buried here by his contemporaries? There is another possibility, that this skeleton actually belonged to a prehistoric burial, and that the 4th century BC fibula and bell found near the bones were Iron Age offerings. This ritual manipulation of prehistoric skeletons in caves is also attested in Cofresnedo Cave, where late Iron Age weapons were located close to a Bronze Age skeleton. Another example of the diversity of rituals carried out in dark rock escapes of Celtic Roman Spain is the performance of ritual activities inside mines. Dealing with the harsh experience of digging under constant threat, miners address it to local ectonic deities in order to placate them and to ensure their protection through ritual practices, which included offering of tools, pottery, metallic items, coins, and altars, such as this one um, thrown on Los Ocedo or this altar from the cave of El Valle. The Latin inscriptions, carvings, and figurines found at the Cave of Roman are part of the rituals performed under the Roman city of Clunia from the 1st to the 2nd century AD. Several texts Sorry. Several texts document math therapy on male genitals and perhaps on eyes and feet too. And the clay heads and penises could be anatomical vota related to, to this healing sanctuary. But, it, but there is not clear evidence about the ritual processes. Although identified as a preapic as a priapic sanctuary, the current published data make it impossible to understand its dynamic or even identify the gods worshipped there. Although they have left no trace, other religious practices could have been carried out in this underground context according to ancient and ethnographical parallels, such as lightning of candles, playing of music, magical practices, incubaciones, modification of speleothems, and ritual performances that, that could have included God's epiphanies and manipulation of darkness. According to my own anthropological experience as participant observer in the artistic venues celebrated inside <coughs> Spanish salt mines by the artistic group Charutan, a strong emotional and almost spiritual responses can be provoked in participants with music and theatrical apparatuses that leave no archaeological trace. Therefore, the possibility that gods impersonate, imp 
got epiphanies uh, to place in our case by actor or ritual specialists uh, should not be dismissed. And unluckily, the surviving record makes it difficult to understand the complex meanings and dynamics of the cave rituality attested in Celtic Roman Spain, and even the frequency with which they were visited and performed. We do not know how regular or irregular such rituals were, or the different ways of moving through the cave, for example, or even if these caves were for a select few. While physically open, <coughs> taboo or religious rest restrictions. <laughs> Don't provoke the gods of the underworld. <laughs> um, sorry. We don't know if these caves were for a select few. Uh, while physically open, taboo or religious rest restrictions related to age, gender, social status, religious wisdom, or specific ritual functions may have, may have meant they were off limits for the majority of the population. Actually, the low presence of women epigraphically attested in this case is stunning. Only three women among almost 200 tests by male. Was this gender bias related to religious taboos or to a minor level of literacy? Another unsolved issue is the chronology of the ritual uses of these caves and its dynamic transformation. Anyway, all these examples show that in caves of the Celtic Roman Spain, polyvalent ritual practices were performed by different agents with, di with, the, with different identities and goals. However, more field work, modern theoretical approaches, and new lectures of inscriptions are compulsory if we want to enlighten the potential of these rock escapes and its rituals for understanding Celtic Roman religions. Meanwhile, I'm afraid that this cave rituality it is still framed by the darkness. Thanks a lot. <laughs>